made a Knight Rider themed car. So Knight Rider is a show from the 80s. It's where like the sweeping light effect became really popular. So our car works by this watch is tilted forward to go forward, backwards to go backwards, and right and left to control a steering mechanism in the front. And so it does that wirelessly using an RF transmitter and receiver. We have music, so it bumps the Knight Rider theme song as it's going, unless you stop it by having it something come in front of it. And when that happens, it slams on the brakes. Forward. <laughs> Except when I tell Robert in here that's that's producing our data that we have output on LCD or OLED display right here on the watch that gives you uh, numerical values for throttle and steering. Those values are then transmitted to the uh, two Arduino minis on this uh, circuit board here. And so it's transmitted to the first one and that one um, interprets those values and uses and computes them to, to give us an angle uh, for our steering that's then sent out to the servo. Arduino Mini also sends uh, data to a second Arduino that runs control for our uh, large drive motor as well as um, our music player and um, it also uh, controls the uh, proximity <coughs> sensor here at the front as well. So this steering link linkage uses instantaneous centers of zero velocity so if you go perpendicular to the wheels they then angle slightly so that this linkage meets actually in the middle of the center axle for the back wheel. This allows it to have differential steering so that when it rotates, the one that's on the outside of the curve has a slightly less steep radius than the one on the inside. And that allows differential steering and it can go both ways. So that allows it to have a smoother curvature when it's going and tighter radiuses. RF receiver, and that's the transmitters in the watch. So in the watch we have <coughs> a little mini with a battery and the transmitter. Also, we have a face that shows the direction, so when it gets tilted, it goes positive or negative here, and throttle that like changes positive when it's going forward and negative when it's going backwards. So we actually uh, have our first Arduino outputting a pulse width modulation signal that has a duty cycle that's proportional to the data that we're wanting to send the other Arduino. Um, and then we pass that signal through a low-pass filter, so it actually averages out your, your uh, PWM signal into a kind of analog value that's proportional to that data. And so then we're able to read that analog value through A to D conversion on the uh, receiving Arduino. The entire construction of the car, for the most part, was done using inexpensive off-the-shelf parts that we typically ordered from Amazon. Um, pretty much everything in here is six bucks or less, um, piece for piece. The entire car is 3D printed, um, from the H-bridge mount to the motor mount, uh, to the rear suspension, to the proximity sensor and LED scanning bar holder, like everything in here is super well constructed and well built for replaceability and repeatability by anyone who wanted to recreate this um, product themselves. The rear drive system is adjustable front to back with the motor controllers so we can get the right tension on the belt system. Uh -huh.